Karen Jewelkett retired as the manager of creative services at Cleveland State University after 35 years of service. Karen earned a certificate in design from Cooper School of Art and her BA in communication from Cleveland State University. Since retirement, Karen has opened First Hand Studio in the Screw Factory where, her, where she paints, offers art classes, and displays her art. Her contemporary Impressionist paintings can be viewed and purchased through her website, karenjewelkett.com. Karen believes that everyone can connect directly with their own creativity and the world around them to create meaningful art. And then Karen was our panelist in um, April. And when she said during her presentation that she wanted to do more videos to promote her website, it was, <laughs> oh, great. I guess I have an angle to persuade her to do a program for, for May. So it, <laughs> thank you, Karen. I'm really glad that that worked. <laughs> <laughs> You're tricky. Uh, yeah, so, so I guess be careful what you say. Right. <laughs> All right, so let me get the sharing started for you. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to see you here tonight. I'm Karen Jewelcat, and I'm going to tell you about how I survived a 30-day painting challenge um, in September of last year. Uh, I was tempted by the prize, which was a top of the line Strata easel, which is a like a Maserati of plein air easels. Just the easel alone goes for like 250 to $300. The challenge was to paint every day from life, every single day for 30 days in September and post daily with hashtag Strata easel. And then you got entered into a drawing to win the easel. So I got all my stuff together, uh, 30 panels and a bunch of paint, and I was ready to go. So I could hardly wait. <laughs> I set up a corner of my home instead of going to my main studio because I didn't want there to be any excuses. So this is a tiny little corner, so I was working with small objects and a small palette. Now uh, this is how I start is with a what you would call a um block in and then the final painting is it shows on the right. They were small paintings like about five by seven. This shows that you didn't have to do a painting a different painting every single day you could work on one painting for three days, which is what I did here. And there's an example of one of my posts. A uh, problem came up when we went on vacation, but I solved that by bringing my watercolors and painting my husband and our friends in the hotel pool. So I didn't miss a day. I was uh, determined not to. I really wanted that easel. Um, I was repairing something and I saw this cute little screwdriver so I had to paint that and it turned out that was way more than life size um, it was an 8 by 10 piece um, this is how I got to paint a whole dinosaur in my little corner of my studio with a little model from Pat Catan's uh, dinosaur um, he's unfortunately extinct because I continued painting and screwed him up <laughs> um, I had great success with this little three by three painting of the matches on the left. Um, when I posted it, somebody loved it immediately and wanted to buy it. So I made a sale like right away. Um, this was a cupcake that was personally picked out by the bakery lady at Heinen's. When I told her I was going to paint it, she wanted to make sure that it was like just the perfect little cupcake. So it was really amazing how people really got into it to support me. Um, more produce from Heinen's. I did a whole bunch of lemons uh, for the last week of the project. Um, so here is... All 19 finished paintings because you didn't have to do one a day. Um, I couldn't even show them all to you and talk about them tonight. I was amazed at how many pieces I actually accomplished and how um, my style seemed to stay consistent. So I actually did complete a whole body of work 
that I wouldn't have done in 30 days if I hadn't done this contest. I followed all the rules, but I didn't win uh, the drawing. <laughs> so I didn't get my little, my wonderful Maserati easel. So I had to give up that idea, but I did get something better. I got uh, a new habit uh, where now I paint nearly every day. And I learned that I could develop a habit by doing something consistently over time. So that's what I wanted to say was uh, to, to get a new habit and do it in 30 days, you need a clear goal, which I had, which was to paint every day from life and post it. Um, you had to do mindful repetition, which is every day do the same thing with intention and regular feedback, which was all my friends on Facebook. It was amazing how people found it fascinating that I was doing this, like a hundred responses to one post. So that really helped. If you want more information, uh, visit my website, uh, karenjoelkett.com. And you can also look up on Facebook, hashtag Strata Easel, to see more postings. Thanks for your time tonight.